Hello, 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 hello! Welcome back. It's your favorite pirate wolf boy, Silver D. Fang. How's it going? As always, thank you for joining me while I suffer. Uh, see, it, it wouldn't be as bad if I, I, you didn't hear screaming at rapid session. It just... So what's what, what's my new with my week? Uh, doing the normal port job, doing all the work. That's been going well. Uh, finally got the first video to my editor, so hopefully we'll see that soon. So hopefully you'll start seeing you uh, videos on my channel. Uh, we're planning on doing like you know full stream archive, but also doing shorts of like the funny moments of the streams. That's the whole idea. Uh, but yeah, let's see what happens. Uh, I did see One Piece Red. It was not what I expected. Uh, that's not a bad thing. I, first of all, I probably should say I loved it and probably is my favorite One Piece movie. Uh, but I did not know it was a musical. And it is a musical. I don't think I've actually ever really seen a anime musical before, but that's what it is. It is fascinating. Also, as a musical nerd, I quite enjoyed it. All the music is banger. The story is really good. I, I really like that we got more backstory for Shanks and Luffy. And Uda is just fucking amazing. I love Uda. Uda is a sweetheart. I don't think I've talked about One Piece, so I could talk about that. But I feel like that is going to take more time than I have between all these things. I've been watching One Piece since I was a kid. Back in the Four Kids Day. Yes. I, I watched the four kids stuff. That was my introduction to One Piece. Do I regret it? Absolutely not. It was ridiculous. It was goofy. I loved it. Do I love the Funimation more? A little. But that's because Funimation just knows how to make good dubs. Like, you cannot say that the four kids One Piece stuff sounds like any other one of their dubs. You can say that about the Funimation dubs. I guess what I can, like, talk about is, like, some of my favorite, like, like arcs like I love I love uh, the Big Mom Island I think that was really awesome uh, a little long but still really really fun seeing uh, Sanji's backstory seeing Luffy brought to his most extreme at uh, fighting uh, Katagiri also just that fight might be one of my favorite fights in One Piece so good if you haven't seen Category versus Luffy. Mm, so good. Um, I Water 7, uh, Anis Lobby is a classic. Any One Piece fan will say that. Uh, oh, God, goddamn Whitebeard. Like, Whitebeard might be the best arc. Or, uh, not arc, best saga. Uh, like, yeah. Starting at Ennis Lobby, going into the Great War, and then the time skip. Like, oh my god. Just every one of those is just banger after banger. I can't call it my favorite because it doesn't feel like it's Luffy or the Straw Hat Pirates. Like, big accomplishment story. It feels like it's the Pirate World's story. Which isn't a bad thing. It's great for world build, but we're following Luffy. Uh, I think that's why I kind of like Dressarosa a lot, because it really does feel like Luffy isn't just a contender. He's now a, like, uh, what would the word be? Uh, he is, like, one of the big dogs now. Like, he can be a main eventer. Mm, what else do I want to talk about? I can talk about One Piece for a long time, guys. I am... Well, as you already know, a ma massive anime dork. And One Piece is just 
when people ask me, it's like, like, where do you find the time? Well, first of all, I've been watching since I was a kid. But also, like, I am one of those people that thinks that an ending is poor. But there are some projects that go beyond, like, the normal structure of a story. And you have to, you have to treat them like a special case. JoJo is one of those special cases. And so is One Piece. One Piece is literally not about beginning, middle, and end. It is about the journey. There are so many different... It's a living world. Like, it isn't just one plot. There's so many characters, so many different plots going on on the same time. And we see a lot of them. And, but that takes a lot of time, a lot of effort. And yes, before anyone says anything, I do know, as of when I'm recording this, they are planning on ending One Piece in, like, two years? I'll... I don't know, man. I'm not going to spoil, but from where I'm at, it, it's going to take more than two years to finish this up. And this... This show better end conclusively. I don't want... I don't want anything missing. Because there's a lot of uh, missing information that still needs to be said. Okay, back to this. Okay, do not jump there. Do jump there. I'm so afraid of over jumping now that I'm, I'm a little slow. So many different factors. So when you complete one thing, you, you're like, yay! And I'm like, oh. See, it's like, uh, if I knew exactly where to step every time, this would be a lot better, but I don't. I just lost speed there. And again, I'm still not super comfortable with the uh, the dash time, which does not help. Okay, okay, okay. I think I know when to jump on that beginning one now. So, yay! Uh, but yeah, how are, how everyone watching? How are you doing? I know I I can see the lurkers. By the way, that is an ability. Uh, talk. Enjoy yourself. I like talking. I like communicating. I understand if you also just want something in the background. That's cool, too. But, you know. I have feelings as well. Wolf pirates have feelings, too. <laughs> it's, it's weird hearing myself fake cry over this music. It's like, bum 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 bum. It's like it's like a high school marching band being played over like a really terrible breakup right in the back scene or in the background. Sorry for getting sad being real, but you know, sometimes you need to get real. And the real truth is, I really appreciate anyone that watches me. I appreciate having this so I can put time effort into a project. Uh, before I was a pirate, I was a actor. I, I started voice acting. I've been a voice actor for about 10 years now. And it's it's been tough. If you don't know who I am, that's not surprising. Because it's, it's not easy getting jobs uh, where I'm... Uh, acting jobs where I'm living. And voiceover stuff has gotten tougher... Uh, to do, like, to get jobs the normal way. So, I stopped doing the normal way. Hence this. This is not my, no this is not normal. Uh, honestly, in the future, I hope to do, like, 
script challenges where I do like monologues. I get other like Twitchers to come on and we do full on script reads. Like that's that's my love. That's my profession is acting and like doing stuff like that. Like during COVID, I joined a uh, online group and once a week we would get together and like read scripts and be characters. It was awesome. I loved it. But yeah, if if you're young right now and you're like, I want to be an actor or I want to be a voice actor, it's not, you can't really go the, the traditional way unless you're really in like a major city, uh, major city that does stuff like that. So Austin, LA, London, Toronto, like I live in a major city with a film industry, but they... It, it's complicated, and I don't want to give away where I live. Uh, so, yeah, I have to think outside the boat. Luckily, a lot of younger people are, like, realize, like, there's, like, Fiverr, or, like, when I was young, there was fan groups. Like, I've done machinima stuff in the past. I've done fan dubs for, like, Zombie Loan and, like, stuff like that. But now it's all Fiverr and, like, Twitch stuff and all that. Well, no, still some YouTube, I guess. But in a different way. Um, but there's also Twitch. When I found out about VTubers, I'm like, this is literally what I do for a career. You know, talking for an inanimate object and giving a character. So it, it seemed like the right time to, to finally jump in. Because my original idea was to do a face cam. But, uh... I don't think I look special enough for a face cam. But I sound special! Hey, Silver. Okay, as always, thank you guys. I'll see you next week. Maybe earlier, we'll see. But definitely on Tuesday. As always, thanks for watching.